people, welcome back to Last Turn of Survival. I'm here at the port because a couple of people have asked me to do a video on the sewers update. And I like that the bikes here are on the minimap, but you can't actually interact with any of them. It's a little bit disappointing. So anyway, we are here over at the port. First thing you're gonna to want to do before you come over here is bring a generator. It will save you the 66 energy of going back and forth to get the generator. Because I, yeah, I did that both times. This is my second time recording it because I wanted to start the video here. We're going to do it all in one go. There we go. We got the blueprint for the boat. Beautiful. And so you're going to want to head on into this building here. This is where you can do all the deliveries and how you level up the season pass really quickly as well. But what you're going to want to do is take your generator and shove it on there. And then you can just jump straight onto there and go in. So you can, you easily can do the port, the um, sewers, with melee weapons. However, there are a couple rooms, mainly the upstairs areas. Oh, um, I might have to turn the volume down here. Actually, no, I think that's going to be okay. So the upstairs areas here, you are going to want to be careful because if you die upstairs, you cannot get your body back. And you will lose all of the stuff on you. And... Since people are trying to get the boat done as fast as possible at the moment, you don't want to be dying. So every single time you go through the sewers, there will be two ladders unblocked for these to like to hold it down. And then as soon as they pop up, they insta die. So there's six different ladder spots or seven maybe. And every time two of them will be unblocked. So you're going to want to go up through them. And once you go up it, that's it. When you come back down, you cannot go back up. That's why if you die up there, you can't get your stuff. But if I then accidentally click the button to go back down there, I would then be stuffed and not be able to get back. Oh, we've got a cocoon here. Lovely. I don't like this version because the cocoons use up quite a bit of weapon durability. And yeah, they're not even much of a threat. They're just annoyingly there. Boom. Ah, oh, here we go. So the main aim for what you want to be getting down here are propellers, pumps and glass. I'm not going to bother looting the bodies because they've just got the normal rope and stuff on them. And wow, that's kind of taking the piss a little bit. Completely empty. <laughs> so on average, you will get nine glass per run. I have tested this. I have done many, many, many runs of the port. So the maximum amount of glass you can get on one run is 14. Then a minimum is three. The average is nine. And then it's 12 and then 10 all for the most common amounts you'll get and if this lovely cocoon will drop dead wonderful and you normally if you're doing it with guns you'll want maybe five guns and now things are going to start crawling out of the holes can we get the body in time yes we can so there we go we also got a couple of the maps as well so here we go terrain maps you use them to level up the genesis reputation so they are incredibly useful i save them all till the end anyway Right, and we go in through here. Hello. Oh, a sick cruncher. Let's not get hit by you. You've got a special name. You're probably hard to kill. Um, deal a lot of damage or something like that. Right. And I think this is the last room on this level. Oh, and box should be in here. Oh, it's that room. I hate that room. So the cocoon here will keep spawning parasites continuously. Oh. And we need a little bit better range there. There we go, that's better. So you, basically you don't want to be getting hit by the cocoon because the gas from the cocoon is horrible. And there we go, the other parasite in the corner didn't even have grow on us for some reason. Not going to hear me complaining. And look at that, we've already got four glass already. And there's going to be one, two, three, four more spots where we can get glass I think. And kill the sick cruncher. Wonderful. I have my Glock back. I do love, absolutely love, fully modded Uzi. They are a beautiful weapon. Oh, and we got a pump in there, and I think that was some glass as well. And, ah, no, it was a steel plate. I always happily take a steel plate. Also, hammers are a needed item again, so make sure you're grabbing your hammers. I'm not going to be getting absolutely everything on this account, because this, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't use this account anymore. I barely play on this one. I'm only using it now because I forgot to record the sewer on my main account and it's on cooldown. 
So this makes a nice happy medium. Because I've still got a good amount of stuff here. What up, Swamp Bloater? Now I'm hoping that one's... Yeah, so this is what I mean by some of them will be blocked. So you go, you can't go up that way. However, there is a door here. Ah, that's annoying. So it's difficult to work out which rooms are going to have loot. And there we go, that's both of those rooms with no loot in. However, you can get stuff in there. And this poison goo here, if you want to, you can actually use um, these items here to get rid of it. However, you can't actually get concrete and um, cement until you've completed your boat because you need sand. And by the time you've completed your boat, you're not really going to need to be coming back down into the uh, sewers again. Hey, there we go. And now we've got four things on us because I didn't wait and take out the little room first. Uh, I meant to get the bloater with the um, stagger shot, whatever it's called. Oh well. So yeah, you want to make sure that you are getting every single box here. So if you miss any, then you are missing out on potentially a quarter of your total loot. And let's have a quick eat. Wonderful. So we are already looking at five glass, which is more than I got on my main account. My main account, I was not impressed. I only got four. Uh, and the uh, mermen, they add this debuff to you that does ten damage six times. And that should be done. Nope, now it's done. Voila. And another merman is going to come out of that room there. Ooh. I can't believe I'm actually getting more glue, more um, glass on my alt account, the one where I don't plan on completing the boat. So basically, this was intended to be my free-to-play account. My free-to-play account series that I'm sure many of you people will fondly remember. I don't know anyone remembers. Anyway, had a free-to-play account. And I lost the account somehow. No idea why, I just hadn't played it for like two months. Updated it, went in, it was gone. The devs were unable to restore it. So what they did was they cloned my main account and copied it over to, well, just bound it to an email, email, which meant that my, yeah, I just basically didn't have a free-to-play account anymore, which I was a little bit gutted about, disappointed. So I um, also then had absolutely everything from my main account, which defeated the purpose of the free-to-play account. So yeah, I just didn't really play it anymore. I, sp I um, deleted basically absolutely everything and people freaked out when I spent ages deleting everything. Because I didn't explain what was going on. I thought it'd be funny. And you know what? It was. Made me chuckle. And then, yeah, I rebuilt it a little bit. So I've got a room that's big enough for all of my boxes. And then just never really went back to it. Never really did anything with the account afterwards. But look, it's come in handy now. I can use it for demonstrating all this lovely stuff. And I think that door's locked. Yeah. Uh, I hate toxic spewers so much. If I can get you dead first, that would be great. Ha! Killed you. Toxic spewers really suck. They are the worst enemy in this game. I am including all of the bosses in that. Oh! We've got our little golem. Hey, golem. I'm not sure what the point of this enemy is. It does two damage. That's it. It just kind of sits there. And yes, I am going overkill using guns for everything here. But oh well. I more just wanted to show you all how lovely the port is. Um, we don't need empty beans. Wonderful. Now, if we are incredibly lucky, we've still got one, two, three, four, five loot boxes downstairs that we could potentially get more stuff from. So if we are very, very lucky, then we might get all 14 glass from this run, as well as another pump, because I'm pretty sure we get a pump in the final room. And there we go. We are coming on, on the final stretch now. Yay! There we go. We have got a box in here. Die, 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 die. I will do probably another tutorial for this in two days' time. Where I explain how to go through it all using melee weapons. However, that's not today. Today, I just want to barge my way through and murderize it all. So, I think so far, I have used... What is it? Four Glocks and half an Uzi. Which isn't too bad, really. 
And and no more glass. Any room boxes in here? No. I didn't think there was going to be. After doing it enough times, you will be able to work out which rooms will be empty and which will be full based on where the ladders are. However, I'm not that good yet. So that ladder's blocked off. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we've got one final room. Die. And die. Wonderful. So the final box in here, guarded by these two. And this box will hopefully have our first pump in there for us. And if you'll die as well, gutted. Killed you. And boom. Oh, okay. We were unlucky. We didn't get a pump, but... Oh, we got a pump earlier. We didn't get a pump from here. We got nine glass, though. Right. Um, I don't really want to leave behind any of this in exchange for that stuff. I don't need to. I can come back, I guess. Can I... Oh, never mind. Here we go. Let's do that. And we'll take the air filter. And in exchange... I have, I've got barely any bolts. Don't need rubber, though. There we go. Beautiful. Right, and there we go. That was the entirety of this version of the sewer. Those were the upstairs rooms. And then, you literally, you just go back up. Come on, you go back up. You get through a loading screen, which takes an age. Still takes an age. And you are back up here. Then that guy just wanders around a bit. So, the magazines we got. There is this lovely bloke here. Jake, he is the Genesis leader. And you eat all your magazines, you go num 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 And we've gone from 0% up to 44%. Lovely. And at 100% you get a crane key, which you use to get the boxes, which will give you fiberglass and titanium armor pieces. You will get either two or three bits of titanium armor, which you can recycle each at the recycler with the mechanic skill at level 50 for a 10% chance of a titanium ingot. There we go. Got through it, remembered it all. So yes, titanium has been added to the game. However, at the moment, titanium is useless. All you can use titanium for at the moment... Well, I mean, there are a couple things, but we're going to ignore half of them. Because you're never going to use this many ingots to make a titanium Kevlar armor set. You're just not. That's a ridiculous amount. Sorry, devs, you're wrong. However, you will probably use titanium... To make the manual earth drill, which you use, you guessed it, to farm titanium. So you can get titanium and I think someone said quartz as well. Yeah. It's like also the um, hazmat suit. You're never going to use, what is that, 38 lead to make a single set of hazmat. It's just absolutely nowhere near worth it. I was hoping they would make the tactical backpack craftable. However, they didn't, which... A bit disappointing, and obviously you can make guns with titanium, but the guns are stupidly expensive to make. Where are we looking like? The Glock. So you need five gunpowder to make a Glock. Five gunpowder will take 100 charcoal and 100 sulfur. It's incredibly expensive. Anyway, thank you for watching, people. Hope you found my tour of the sewer helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye!